The first time I used cocaine, what it was like, I will say this, I don't remember the first time I used cocaine. I first used cocaine when I was in high school and, and I really truly, like, I remember the highs and stuff, but like really the first time that I used cocaine, which was probably the worst time that I used cocaine, this is what that experience was like. And I think it's important to hear these experiences because if you experience this, you're probably gonna be addicted to the drug. I'm not here to diagnose anybody, but I will say this, cocaine was a drug of choice of mine, and I wanted to share this for anybody out there struggling just to understand and maybe grasp the concept of, maybe this isn't good. So I'm gonna share with you all about this. If you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button. What's up guys, my name is Eric and I'm a recovering cocaine and alcoholic addict. Uh, I wanna share my first experience really doing cocaine when I knew that there was this was an issue drug. At the time, I didn't think there was an issue. Uh, but this is when I really, my addiction to this drug was, I feel created. I had done cocaine a few times in high school, um, loved the high and stuff, but I don't know. It just never hit me quite the same. Um, when I ended up doing it this time through though, uh, I was about 22 years old. I was hanging out with friends. We were at a bar. Um, and I remember at the bar and we were drinking ironically i was like 60 days sober when this happened just trying to like clean up my life a little bit i was going through a divorce and i had a friend of mine with me and he's like dude let's get a bag and i'm oh okay well well what's that um next thing i know we, he had a, a friend of his stop by drop us off a uh eight ball we split it up and we were at this bar and i remember drinking and we're like all right he's like let's do this so we go out to my car Bust it, tell you how long ago it was, bust out a CD case and we're breaking some up and we both do a line and all I remember is, man, when I did this line, doing it of what it felt like in my nose, just going down this taste of the aftertaste, that drip, the that it was like all of a sudden I felt awakened, I felt alive, I felt happy, I felt good, I felt sobered up because I was already drunk. I felt empowered and as you can see I can even go like putting myself in that I get like all excited because that's how obsessed with this drug I became but I was just like holy crap this is amazing this is it this is the this is my drug uh I just remember thinking that I was like man I'm not going to use all this up because this is such an amazing feeling. I'm going to say this anytime I party, man, I do some of this. I, dude, I can control this high and it's a good high. I just remember all this stupid stuff I kept telling myself. And the next thing I know we're in, we ended up like a great party of the night. We ended up back out of the car. We did a couple more lines and I was funny. I felt I was open. I was just a talkative. I was not like introverted at all. I just had just confidence and I just, I just felt great. And in my head, I was like, man, this is a safe drug. You know, rich people do this drug. And so I shouldn't really be worried about this. I've never really heard of anyone, you know, addicted to cocaine. Like this isn't like heroin. This isn't like meth. This isn't like, you know, any of this. This is cocaine, dude. Nobody, nobody gets in trouble really with cocaine. Just, you know, don't, don't smoke crack. <laughs> that was like, that's, that's how naive I was. Uh, and I became slowly obsessed with it. And I will say this for the first while after using cocaine, uh, I was able to budget it. I was able to do a couple lines. I was able to keep some with me uh, and not have to do it all. But eventually there's a switch that flips and that changes. And it became my drug of choice where I could, I mean, anything remotely around me that was cocaine, I'm doing cocaine. Um, but it was this high that it felt so good that it literally sucked me in. And I felt that this was happiness. I felt like I was complete. I felt great. I loved it more than drinking. I just felt strong. And that's when you know there's a problem. And looking back at it, like that's when I was really, truly falling in love with this drug that this was becoming a part of my life, um, eventually something that would control my life and not really realizing it and not caring to realize it because I thought it was so awesome. Um, and you glamorize this stuff in your head. And I can tell you this, I would go back in time, I would go back in time to then and punch myself in the face and tell myself to walk the way, walk away, just walk away because what it ended up doing and playing, it was such a role that it played in my life was damaging and it was destructive and it was hurtful. And for the one out there struggling, I know what it's like. I know what it's like to 
to just be obsessed with a drug. I mean, that's what we are as an addict. We are obsessed with this drug. And I share my experiences just for the one out there struggling that it was a struggle to get sober, but it was worth it every single day. And I got links down below to NA and AA for the one out there struggling. If you're looking for some resources that are at least a good place to start, if you're trying to get sober, tell everybody in your life that you're an addict and that just start asking for help and just be real about the help and go for it and start putting all your energy that you put into your addiction into getting sober. And believe me, it is worth it. Hit the like and subscribe button, comment down below. Love to hear your thoughts, love to hear your experiences because I feel it's so important for us as addicts to hear other experiences, to hear people, to know that we're not alone, to go through this and go, you know what, it's worth this fight. It's worth what I'm, I'm fighting for and knowing that it will get better because you know what, it is worth it.